Tellum Tribe Tarot. Daily readings for my tribe. Subscribe to my channel. Peace. I am Cherokee with Tellum Tribe Tarot coming to you with the Gemini Singles reading. Gemini Singles in the building was popping. We talking to you. Take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. Booking a personal reading is simple. Click the link in the description, which will take you to the website. Click the book a reading link and book your reading. Take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. Take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. For whoever is not hearing that in the bike. <laughs> Drop a comment to say hello to a goddess because you know I love it when you say hello. Turn on post notifications. Click like to show love to the video, which in turn shows love to the channel. Share the video to share the wealth. And let's get it. So Gemini singles, what's going on with you right now? So you in separation and you missing somebody or somebody is missing you, feeling sad that you're not around no more. Somebody feels like y'all ended on bad terms and there was some things that weren't said and they feel like you don't give a damn. Somebody feels like you, they know that you still have feelings for them, but they feel like there's nothing that they can do to change your mind. And they don't know how to see the future without you. Relationship evolving in the next phase, healing the inner child growth. So Gemini, during this time of separation from this person that's thinking about you, or this person that's hoping that you would change your mind and give them another shot, you are working on yourself, whether that means shadow work, um, investing in your health, going to the gym often, taking up a, something that you've never done before, like yoga or Taekwondo, dance, hell, just being on your own for once, embracing a single life. Well, at least you're trying to, but I still feel like somebody is still like lurking, you know, like you looking, but you, you're on your single but unavailable shit right now. But right now, what you want to do is focus on your healing and you're finding it hard to do at times because although you're not reaching out to this person and I feel like you're blocking their energy, you're still letting them in, in like through the cracks, you know, like how when the sunlight comes through like the, the cracks <laughs> in a, in a cave and that little light that's what I feel like they're still able to, to get through in that way. But Gemini, I also see that you are considering getting on the dating scene. Some of you, I feel like, are rushing your healing while others are ready. So there's like a, a bit of a tug of war. I feel like some of you want to be done with the situation from the past and you're kind of tired of it. I feel like our readings from the past few forever has been about this separation that you've been trying to separate from for real but for real for real so i feel like you really want to get out and meet somebody that's completely different from the person that you're with i feel like some of you may just be over the past to the point where it's just like i don't want to hear about it no more like don't bring him up or don't bring her up no more the past is the past even though when you hear a name or something that rhymes with it it still gives you that anxious feeling and anxious is usually not good like bubble guts like you gotta go to the bathroom like nah <laughs> that's not okay but anyways let's get into this gemini singles read and spirit please provide me with the guided messages for the gemini collective please provide me with the messages of what gemini needs to see right now they might not necessarily get to see what they want to see right now but you're going to see what you need to see right now. Okay, so let's get it, Gemini. Okay, so the overall energy is the Eight of Swords. So, wait, this look weird. Hold on. I can't even pick this shit up. <laughs> overall energy being the Eight of Swords. Interesting. All right, and then the challenge is the high priestess. Mm -hmm. The challenge is seeing your listening to your inner voice as opposed to listening to what others are saying, especially during the Mercury retrograde, like just listening, just hearing what you genuinely want to do, listening and believing your feelings, having trust issues 
with yourself, which is causing trust issues with other people. What you're leaving in the past is the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like some of you are leaving a job right now or planning on leaving a job because you want to do something completely different. I feel like some of you were dealing with somebody from work and you still work with them. And it's just like you feel like you cannot make a completely clean break until you leave that job because you may work in different departments, but you still see that person from time to time or you hear about them. The nine of cups is on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you are hoping for major changes, like major, major changes, which is totally understandable you may be feeling trapped right now and it's an energy of like god damn it i think i'm gonna be single forever <laughs> and i think it's that mentality right there that has you caught up and confused because why would you sentence yourself to such a thing why would you sentence yourself to a life of solitude when you haven't even given the idea of being with someone a fair shot just because you are looking at the not so great experience that you had with the past and it wasn't all bad it just wasn't the right situation for you and you knew better which is why you are doing away with the past i feel like you've given yourself enough time and breathing room to understand where you're trying to go, where you need to be, who you want to be with, and who you don't want to be there. So there should be no confusion in that department. I feel like you're just stubborn because you don't like to lose. This is a competitive energy. This is an energy of someone who gets what they want, whenever they want, doesn't matter if you tell them no. I feel like you even do sales or you were trained in sales, Gemini, because no is like maybe. And when you hear no, it just pisses you off. It agitates you. So, and when you don't win at something, it doesn't matter if it's a relationship, a fucking video game, a basketball game, the lottery, you be, you be invested and pissed off. So I feel like this relationship that didn't work in the past, it's more about the fact that you didn't win at it, which is why you're like, fuck this. I don't even want to be at this job. I don't want to work with you i don't want to work this out because i'm not winning at this with you i like to win that's the energy that i'm getting so with your overall energy being the eight of swords and the situation being the eight of swords you feel trapped i feel like some of you feel trapped by your mind and your circumstance so you may not be able to leave the job right away because you don't have no other income or you're working on other income and you're not winning at creating that residual income that you want to create or you're not winning at finding a new job and i feel like it's agitating you because you want to get a different experience away from this person you can't just jump on a flight when you want to you can't just jump on a train you can't just jump on a ferry a goddamn boat it's like you have to be mindful of your finances and it's causing you some kind of emotional disconnect with the high priestess it's like you're not grounded as you used to be or you don't feel as grounded as you should because you're allowing your situation to rule how you feel overall which is unfair to you because your situation is not as bad as you're thinking about as bad as you're thinking about it but because you're not getting what you want exactly when you want and how you want it you're like telling the universe it's all or nothing and you can't be like that it don't work that way what you should be focused on is fine-tuning the way how you like to see things like if you are into classy events and experiences stop wasting time on things that are ratchet like fine-tune the way how you want your life to look if you're into being around fine you know going to fine dining and doing all this kind of stuff go to those places and mingle with the type of people that are in those places i feel like you are investing your time and in worrying about what you're incapable of doing and not realizing that your potential is right within your grasp as long as you disconnect from the low vibrational idea that you're you're not going to get what you want you just have to disconnect from 
getting what you want when you want it how you want it no answers no um no setbacks and you're setting yourself back by being angry with the universe for not showing up in a way that you want it to every single time because life doesn't work that way now in the near future is the four of wands if you Throw away the idea that you won't have any new opportunities to do something else without hanging on to this job or this situation that finances your life. If you don't disconnect from that feeling, you're not going to achieve that feeling of gratification that you would get from this Four of Wands energy. Your guides are saying that you have to connect with source and source is telling you, the source of you is saying that nothing is missing. The only thing is that's missing is you acknowledging that nothing is missing. You're right where you need, right where you need to be. You know what I mean? You're not doing enough things that makes you happy as a single person. You're not doing enough things that makes you want to be involved as a single person. You're doing more reflecting on what went wrong rather than what is going well. And I see in the near future that you're going to be meeting a lot of new people. This says someone new, but it's a little bit more than someone new. It's a lot of new people, but you got to let go of the expectations that you have. It's good to have a standard. You need a standard because boundaries are important, an important part of self-respect. Respecting yourself, especially if you were in a connection where you allowed opportunities to gauge how you would respect yourself. I think that was a big lesson that you had to learn, not looking at what somebody was able to do for you to gauge, you know, how you allowed them to treat you based on how much they can do for you. When you set that boundary up front, like, I don't give a fuck what you can do for me. Here's who I am. And here is who I am as an individual. I'm a dope ass human being. And if you want to fuck with that, that's cool. But I'm not going to let you treat me any kind of way just because of all these wonderful things that you can do for me because I can do these things for myself. So I feel like you may have gotten disconnected from source in that way. Now, the advice for you is the nine of wands. Persevering through those mental anguishes, those moments where you look at those pictures of those couples, those goals on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, or even the past, going through that little, someone has like a photograph box, this black photograph box with gold writing on it. It looks like hieroglyphics almost. I don't know, something to do with Egypt. Your name might be Egypt, Egyptian, Aaron. I don't know. There was something like um, that's tied to African culture, but you reflect often on this, on this trip or this feeling or this thing that felt like a culture connection where you can't have that anymore. And I think it's just more of the idea that you can have that, but it's not going to be in that same exact way. You have to be open to new experiences. The advice is to persevere through those moments of despair and feeling like you cannot get anything better than what you've experienced because you've peaked out. That's not the, that's not the case. And your environment, environment right now is the star. That's Aquarius energy. That's the energy that you vibe with like heavy. Spirit is saying that if you give yourself the chance to just have an open understanding and an open perspective and allowing hope and patience to seep in. Being patient with yourself and understanding that Rome wasn't built in a day and you're not going to get everything that you want in one shot. But when you look at everything that you've been through and the aura that you have, it's intoxicating and you're going to attract the good, the bad and the ugly. So the star card being your environment is showing you that there's room for improvement. As long as you see that you need to make room for that and space for that, space for healing, space for understanding. Now, 
Gemini, what you are afraid of is that you won't meet somebody in time to build a family. Some of you, I feel like someone may be feeling like with the Ten of Pentacles, like you're running out of time. Um, that I feel like someone wants a high value person. Like you don't want to work no more. I feel like that's another reason why you want to leave your job. <laughs> oh, you are toxic. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with wanting a high value person. And I feel like high value is subjective because you could be looking at it from a financial standpoint, but then you could be looking at it from a spiritual standpoint, someone who values life, someone who values mother earth, someone who values friendship, conversations, communication, depth, and that, uh, communication, especially, which is something that you may have struggled with in the past. Can I get more clarification on the ace of pentacles from the past spirit? You are just afraid that you're not going to meet your person in time. Some of you are afraid. I feel an energy of someone who's afraid to die. What? You're afraid to die alone. What the hell? The Ace of Cups. So, there may have been like recent... There, you know what? So here's what you've been doing. You've been just, Gemini singles been cutting the fuck off. Just cutting people off. Just cutting people off. Ace of Cups in the past showing, I feel like this habit that you have of just cutting people off. Regardless of to what explanation that they're giving. Not even allowing them to give you an explanation. I feel like that's what your downfall is as, as a single individual as well is that before you even get an opportunity to show somebody the part of you you that makes you special of which you protect that with everything but you will people in with their amazing aura and the minute that they get close enough and then they say something that you deem stupid you cut them off and i feel like there's a a balance that needs to happen where yeah okay you want to leave your job that's fine because you don't want to work with your ex or you don't want to work with anybody that reminds you of a past that you're just trying to leave behind. You just want a, a new slate. That's fine. But cutting people off just to cut people off without any valid reasonings, if it has nothing to do with maintaining your peace, but you're doing it because you're afraid of possibly building a connection that can transcend past your limitations that you have. A lot of the issues that you're having is because you don't trust your intuition. So when something happens that you can't explain or understand, you disconnect from it before you get an explanation. And that's like a, a trauma response, Gemini single. A lot of the things that you've been doing is a trauma response. And Spirit is saying that if you don't learn to discuss the things that you feel and explain things that don't feel good to you like when you tell somebody about a boundary and they violate it and then you just cut them off instead of explaining to them that they're violating your boundaries you're always going to have tower moments as your possible outcome people feeling like you're disloyal and you may have even gotten that now with even trying to date now or just meeting new people people feeling that you're fickle you're not dependable it's because you are afraid of opening up because you have been hurt. You've been hurt time and time again, and that's understandable. But these are things that you communicate when you meet an energy that feels good. You meet an energy that you don't have any type of stipulations about, and you begin to open up to them, and then you feel that weird feeling of vulnerability that's when you say, I feel a little funny opening up to you because I don't typically open up to anyone in this way. And typically at this point in the game, I will cut you off because I don't want you to get too close to me. Or when somebody does something crazy, you let them know, hey, that was crazy to me. Usually I cut people off for that, but I really don't want to cut you off because I respect your friendship and I respect the energy that we've, we've you know, we're working on together. That is how you have this Four of Wands energy, this, the, the friendships that you can celebrate, the people that you can travel with. 
you can't build a connection with anybody if you constantly berate them mentally like mentally in your mind you create like a a dis a whole freaking dis record <laughs> like about all these things that are wrong with them when in actuality you're not functioning on a higher frequency because you're afraid of opening up so when we look at these cards again and we talk about the separation that happened in the past and somebody that's missing you you have to think like damn am i retaliating against new people because of the unsolved things with the person from the past or i am lashing out because the person from the past that i probably didn't necessarily get closure from and you don't necessarily need closure from that person because the closure was either them walking away and letting you know where they stood or you're walk you walked away and you realize this is not what I want. It's not bringing out the best in me, but it's unresolved because you feel like you're always walking away from things before you can even understand it. And I feel like that's what that unfinished, unresolved business is for you, single Gemini. So when you start dating, you're, you're the only challenge here is you not listening to yourself. And knowing the difference between being afraid of starting something new and being afraid of what is being shown to you because it looks like something that's hurt you hurt you before. And that's where the challenge is with the star card here with Aquarius energy. I feel like an Aquarius is going to be coming towards you in the near future. But anyways, the challenge is just also being hopeful that you can actually find a situation or a situation that will find you that you would be able to trust. But you're not going to be able to trust anything if you don't trust yourself anyways. So let's go ahead and pull a closing card for you. One of these little heart situations. You know I love these little heart situations. That was a lot to unpack, Gemini. You know what I'm talking about? That was a lot to unpack. Okay, this one seems like... I'm going to read two because I don't feel like that was the one the only one let's go with this one these are cute look at these one is hugging in this very sexual position so romance cupid arrow strikes like i told you gemini aries there's somebody coming uh sagittarius aries leo i feel like in the near future you're gonna meet somebody that's an sagittarius aries Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, energy, also Aquarius. Aquarius is your compatibility partner. Somebody understand that understands you even when you don't understand yourself. You don't have to heal completely before you meet somebody. You know what I'm saying? That's for you. But what you do have to acknowledge is that truth is important. Acknowledging that you do things that sometimes aren't so good to yourself that projects and comes off as being toxic because you're not given your healing journey 110 percent by just being honest with yourself about the things that you feel and the o the only way to be honest about the things that you feel is by speaking it out aloud by allowing the feelings to pass through when something happens to you and you're hurt by it you say it it hurt when this happened to me and i am not going to ignore this and i am going to allow this to pass through because I did not deserve this. Or when you hurt someone and then you get offended because they voice that to you, it's important that you accept responsibility when you hurt someone and say, you know what? I did hurt this person, although that wasn't my intention. I forgive myself for hurting this person. And if you are still on speaking terms with that person, you make it known. If you're not, you release it. You write it down on a piece of paper and you burn it. And you let the ancestors forgive you. You let spirit forgive you. You release it to the universe because the things that you hold on to, they're things that may be hurting you that you may not even realize, which is why you don't trust your own intuition. But that's another conversation, right? Anyway, sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. So the thing is that you are a great friend, Gemini. If you don't trust your own intuition, you're not going to be able to trust people and you won't be able to build lasting connections because of that. I hope that doesn't go over your head, Gemini, and I hope this reading resonated for someone. 
And if you'd like to book a personal reading, the link is in the description. Drop a comment to say hello to a goddess because you know I love it when you say hello. And until next time, love and light, tribe.